As you can see, this profile is a symmetric profile. This means that we do not we do not need to draw up the total profile. We will just define this quarter of the profile and then mirror and mirror again this half profile so that will result into the end result. So if we now select this profile and we just move it a little bit up to here so we can take a look at that drawing while we draw up this profile again. We will start with this arc often with a radius of 83, so we move to the arc with coordinates function. Our x center is 50, y is 0, and our radius is 83. Our start angle will be here, and it will move up to about here. Look at the example, and this is OK. So we click on OK. We'll view all, and there's our arc. Next thing is we draw up the vertical line, which has an x value of 66.25. OK. We can now define the fillet between the arc and the line, which is 10. OK. And we will now define this arc. So we move back to the arc with coordinates button. We click on reset. And we enter a radius of 123.5. My arc starts about here, up to 90 degrees. Look at the example. OK. And we can fill it this corner with a radius of 16.25. OK. We have now drawn up a quarter of our drawing. If you want to rotate, move, mirror something in Tensor, you will always use the clipboard of Windows. So this, these elements are selected, so we can move to Edit, Copy, just like you do in other Windows programs like Word, Excel, etc. You click on Copy, Edit, Paste. Tensor will now present you a paste window where you can make your choice what you would like to do. In this case, we do not want to displace our profile. You could, for example, if I enter an x value of minus 50, this would result in a copy 50 millimeters to the left. In this case, we don't want this, so we just move backwards one step, and we move back to Edit Paste. We click on Reset. This will assure you that you won't oversee any values you don't want to use. So in this case, you will mirror the x values. And we click on OK. You will see the other half coming up. And the good thing is that although you mirrored your profile, Tensor will take care of the order and direction. So this means that in at this moment, this is my last element. As we now have the half the half of the end result, we would can copy these selected elements, copy, and we move back to paste. We click on reset, and of course, in this case, we will mirror the Y values, and we will click on OK. And this gives us the profile. As you can see, this arc and this arc are actually the same arc. This also counts for these arcs. So you would like to reorganize these elements into fewer elements. So if you move to Change, Reorganize, Reduce, and Optimize, look at the arrows to see what happens. And Tensor has reorganized the profile. So if you want to do anything like copying, mirroring, rotating, within Tensor, always use the clipboard. So you can move on to exercise 4 now.